Now, I call upon Talal Tariq, the winner of the ALM Hashim Challenge Shield, to deliver his winning speech of the senior oratorical contest. Let me tell you of a man I aspire to be. My uncle, Mr. Ajwad Kassin. He was wealthy, highly educated, had reached the peak of success to such an extent he didn't have to earn respect because he already had it. He didn't have to earn loyalty because he didn't need it. He could have treated every single person like they were dirt and had gotten away with it. Yet, he didn't. He treated everyone with love and respect. He talked to everyone the same way he did with the Prime Minister. At his funeral, no one talked about how much money he earned, success he gained, or fame he achieved. They only talked about how well-mannered he was, what a kind heart he had, and what good integrity he possessed. So ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't matter how many A-stars you achieve in A-level, what kind of degree you have, or what company you work for, if you do not demonstrate good manners, behavior, and integrity. The chief guest tonight, His Excellency, Mohammad Azmi Tasim, distinguished guests, parents, and my dear colleagues, Assalamu alaikum and a very good evening to all of you. Manners are the methodology that can empower and is an integral part of success. Integrity is the compass that guides you in the right direction when no one is looking. Without these two, all your academic qualifications are of no use. For example, have you wondered why they ask you for a character certificate when you apply for a job or university? I mean, isn't your academic qualifications what really matters? Apparently not. Research shows that your academic qualification is just 43% of what an employer is looking for. Meaning, the rest of the percentage is based on your manners and behavior. Surprising, I know, but why does manners matter more than education? Well, Henry James, a business analyst, says that when a person is well-mannered, he not only boosts his performance, but the performance of people all around him. He enhances team morale, which in turn increases efficiency, thereby making everyone happy. Educating oneself isn't about achieving trophies or medals. Education alone comprises of culture, mannerism, and qualification. And qualifications, my dear friends, are what we basically graduate ourselves with, forgetting that the cream of the cake is actually culture and mannerism. For you see, without one, the other cannot thrive on its own. For without culture, we are only left with a debacle. Basically, we stand still. For without manners, we are deprived of the most important element towards our success. In this diabolical world today, manners have all but faded, especially in us youths. Many have adapted to the motto, kindness is weakness. So they continue on this path of grumpiness, impertinence, and total lack of respect to their superiors. And this, sadly, is the final nail in the professional coffin. Because I know of many highly qualified people who have been terminated just because of their manners. They ask their boss, why am I being terminated when I'm the best you have? And the boss calmly tells them, you're not the best we have. Because the best among us is the best of character. So ladies and gentlemen, even though they were the best academically qualified for the job, they couldn't have it for more than a few months. Academic success can open up many doors for us. But it is behavior, manners, integrity that is mandatory and should go hand in hand for anyone to succeed in life. Thank you.